Welcome to our community. Susie Thomas with you this morning, and we are visiting with our friends from Pregnancy Choices. Rachel Sobitz works on events and PR for those events, and Jimmy Lever, who is Director of Church Relations. And good morning to both of you. Good Good morning. morning. And all right, let's start with, well, either one of you. First of all, Pregnancy Choices. I think people are absolutely blown away when they see all of the services and different locations and everything going on under that one ministry. Who, which one of you would like to tackle that? Well, Susie, really, this, this could really take a whole day to tell you about all the services we provide, but to really be short, I mean, we have an opportunity to allow people to understand they have a choice when it comes to choosing lives. Um, we don't want um, a mother or that father that feel like they have to abort a child. When they have choices, they can save that child. They can have a, there's adoption out there. There's educational classes we have where we can teach them how to be parents and and how to, to grow to be I mean, good parents. So we want to make sure they ha- they have all the tools necessary to be parents. You mentioned adoption as one of the options. Uh, I, I just heard a statistic that was absolutely mind-bending, and that was that there are many more people on adoption waiting lists who've already been screened and approved, and they've got a nursery ready to go or a yes. room ready to go. They are ready to open their home to a child. More people on that list than abortions that take place. So every child is wanted, right? Yes, and we want to get the word out there. And and so uh, we're grateful that God is allowing us to speak more about adoption and be open, more open about that. If it's in the churches or if, if we're in with our friends at home or wherever we're at, we want to make sure we, we're spreading that word because it's needed. You mentioned that you help people be good parents. One of those things is the... Um, the efforts right now, and I know it's lots of efforts working together, that are addressing infant mortality. Yes. What do you have there? What we have to address infant mortality is um, we do have a program called VITAL, and mm-hmm. we're excited about that. It's a two-year commitment. It's a program they have to commit for two years, and we're going into the second year now, which is exciting. But what it is is it's a group of mothers. They come together. They're able to bond together. Their due dates are about the same about the same time, but more than anything, they're educated about safe sleep. They're educated about raising that child, and then they do it in a group. So um, we have speakers that come in and even teach them how to be better mothers and, and, and what to expect. I mean, not so they won't be caught off guard mm-hmm. as they're raising this, their children. Mm-hmm. So I love the second year. Um, because they all are joined by their little friends, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> and then, how does that all culminate then? So after the first year, the first year they have a baby shower, so they get showered with all these gifts. What and, kinds of things are they provided with? Oh, they're provided with um, clothing, diapers, um, car seats, and mm. whatever they need. Pack and play for pack safe and, sleep. Yeah, that's yeah the pack mm-hmm. and play. So they're excited. Um, I've had I didn't have a chance to attend it, but. I get to hear all the good news, so, uh-huh. I, so I get to celebrate by hearing everything that yes. that they did receive at that shower, so it's exciting. But then you say that there's a second year, so at the end of the second year, what happens? There is a birthday party for the kids. Oh, man, that's so cool. So I think that's going to be exciting, even though maybe just see the kids open up their gifts or whatever, but I think that's going to be fun. And you said you're in year two, so this will be the very first birthday yes. party for all these little ones that yes, are it will. getting them through that first year of life. It's so essential. Yes, that's exciting. So cool. Well, with all of these things going on, and we might get back to a little bit more of the things that you offer, but we do want to talk about what you really came here for today, is that you've got a number of events to help support um, all of the great, uh, many capacities that Pregnancy Choices reaches yes. into. So, Rachel, yes. you are involved right now with, uh, both of you, with a virtual walk? Yes. What, what's going on? Well, this year, you know, normally we do the Walk for Life, Mm -hmm. and this is still the Walk for Life this year, but we want to also make it more virtual. We want people to celebrate with us on May 20th. Um, We're going to be at Price Park in North Canton, but we want people to be able to celebrate with us, celebrate life 
for pregnancy choices. We've been around for over 32 years, and and it's just a way of also funding what we've been doing. So you can still you can walk from wherever you're at, anywhere in the world. You can, if it's walking, if it's playing basketball, if it's running, if it's swimming, if so it's it playing laser tag. So it doesn't even have tag. to just be walking. Oh, no, it doesn't just That's have to be walking. Cool. We want to celebrate the life, and at the same time, we're grateful that individuals will help continue to fund what it is that we're doing. So you're going to be on the move, whatever uh, you yes. happen to be doing. Now I hear that even Sky Zone oh, yeah. over at Belden Village is kind of helping out in a yes, way because they they're are. celebrating their first anniversary. Oh. So what's going on at Sky Zone? Well, they're going to be offering um, discounted um, pricing that day. So yeah, you can, All day? All day. So you can go over there and jump. To your content <laughs> and and happy and be happy just flying in the air if you want to flip whatever or you just want to jump up and down just a little bit you can enjoy that one. I yeah. think that's how I'm going to participate I think I'm going to have to do the trampoline <laughs> park and what's more exciting is we want people to really remember hashtag pregnancy choices on the move because we want you to sh- send that through your Facebook. Twitter and and show us what it is that you're doing that day. We want everybody to see what it is that we're doing. Okay. Oh, this sounds so much fun. Okay. So first of all, a virtual walk because you don't have to just be in Stark County. You can be anywhere. Yes. And we're going to hashtag on the move. Okay. So how do you put together a team? How are we raising money for Pregnancy Choices by doing this? Well, this year we it's our goal to put together 50 teams, 50 teams but each team, we would like to have a minimum of 10 persons on, on each team. If you want to have more, great. But we want to simplify it for everyone. And we want each team member to um, get out there or commit or help out to raising $250 each for each team member. Okay, now that sounds maybe hard to do if right. every team member is supposed to re- raise $250. But you have a very ingenious way of making that very yes, easy to do. Yes, yes. So how do we do You put together a team of 10, and each of those team members does what? They can reach out to 10 individuals themselves and ask them for $25 for how whatever they're going to the event they're going to do. Hey, I'm going to be jumping today. Would you be? Would you love to pledge twenty five dollars for my jumping up and down? So, all right, let me get this. Uh, I can either put together a team or I can join a team. Yes. And if you're a team member, you find ten people who are willing to donate twenty five dollars. Yes. Okay. I think we all can. You can go to your Facebook page, find ten people, and ask them for twenty five dollars. I think you'll probably be okay. Right. Then you put. T- then that is only one member of a team. You put together nine more members, and boom, that team has ri- raised two hundred and fifty dollars each, and the whole team has raised twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred dollars. That's yes. amazing, Jimmy. And, and it's going to be fun. I mean, we're going to enjoy it. And we, we, we know that it's going to be a good time. Now, what's so special about the number 2,500? Why did that happen to be your goal? Well, our goal this year is we would like each team to save two child, two children. And the average cost to save a child is $1,200. But we just, just round it up. Round and it up. Mm-hmm. 2,500. So you're saving two children and be yes. able to afford the diapers and the prenatal yes. vitamins and everything else <laughs> that you provide. Um Jimmy, you are director of church relations. Yes. So tell me a little bit about that position and what you do with how. Why is it important to involve the churches in this effort? It, right now, it, it is so important to have the churches partner with us because they they do so much for us. And not only that, we want them to uh, to truly um, be there for us because they have a voice with their congregation. And and we know that even in in the churches, there are people who are still hurting, even if it's from past abortion or um, they may have lost a child or um, they may have had some type of sexual abuse in the past. And, And we want the church to really recognize that we need you and and we we also want you to partner with because we can also help with some of the volunteering classes we have. We can equip people right there in the church to reach out to the people in that congregation, those people who are still hurting, and they need to know that God does care and you can be healed. 
One of the really exciting efforts that you've got, and this also is with fundraising, but this is just one of those things that it's painless. Yes. And I think you're just finally wrapping it up about now is the baby bottle boomerang. How is that going? This year, the baby bottle boomerang has taken off. Um, we're, we're grateful for the churches that are participating. We're on track to um, do what we did more last year. Last year we did over eighty-eight thousand, and say that again. And now this, okay, <laughs> eighty-eight thousand dollars from yes. spare change. The people just, just drop change, into bare baby bottles. Eighty-eight thousand dollars, yes. Okay, yeah. that's that's mind-boggling. Yes. Um, so, if a church is it too late to participate? It's it's never too late, and and please, I mean, if God has placed it on your heart to to reach out to Pregnancy Choices and learn more about what we're doing, please come in and visit. I would love to personally take you around and visit our location because you would be amazed at what God is doing and how he's blessing um, this organization because of what the churches and our donors are doing. We didn't explain how the baby bottle boomerang works. Tell us briefly. Well, what we do with the baby bottles, we, we come into the church, we explain, and you know, we, we ask you to take that bottle home and fill it with loose change. Um, you may have loose change in your couch, in the car seats, or in your pockets, or you can take it to work, you can set it on the counter, and you can tell people all about pregnancy choices of what's happening, and we ask, them to ask you to bring it back in two weeks, and we, we collect the bottles. And and then we and I like to send a nice card out to the pastor and let him know or she what this um, what they have what they how much they contributed to the baby bottle boomerang so they can tell the congregation. Is there a goal for we congregations? Say, to... We would love for them to at least say one child. Oh, that'd so, be so great. And so it's great for them to get or him or her to get up there and say we saved one child or two childs or three children. So. And you're saying that twelve hundred dollars, so twelve people finding a hundred dollars somewhere, yes, saves a baby. Yes, it does. That, it would just seem like yes. some churches could even do much more than that. Right. So mm-hmm. that that really is so, amazing. Yeah. So if, if there are some churches out there I, and you haven't heard from Pregnancy Choices yet or me, please feel free to contact me because I, I am working hard at it, and I just I don't want to miss any. Um, church that really wants to be a part of this. It's amazing what a little spare change can do. How do we reach you, Jimmy? At 330-455-7500, extension 205. You can reach me there. Okay, so you're a busy guy right now. You've got the baby bottles going on. You've got the virtual walk going on. I'm very busy, and I have to make sure I write everything down on my (laughs) calendar. I don't want to miss anything. So you know what I think? I think you need another big event. So what about bringing in a a very famous speaker and having a dinner? Why don't we just throw that into the mix as well? (laughs) Rachel, what's going on on May 11th? Well, we're really excited to have Eric Metaxas, who is a dynamic speaker. He's a number one best-selling New York author. He wrote some scripts for Veggie Tales, and he wrote a book that many people are familiar with, Bonhoeffer. And he's going to be coming and joining us. We're having a banquet, and we're going to also have tickets that are going to be sold to the public to come and see Eric and listen to him speak. And it's just going to be a great evening at Kent Stark, and that's going to be on Thursday. Thursday night, May 11th, and the doors open at 6.45. And uh, how much? The tickets are $18 per ticket. And if you'd like to purchase a ticket, you can go on our website at www.pregnancychoicesforme.org and forward slash donor. And we're going to have where you can click right on that link and purchase your tickets. Okay, and we should say that the $18 is to just hear him speak. Correct. That is not including the dinner so forth. If you'd like to attend the dinner, contact pregnancy choices um, because that would be there may many opportunities to participate in a in a more influential way yes right correct okay yes. so but to just get a chance to go hear him which it is awesome yes he's amazing really okay eighteen dollars and again that website www.pregnancychoicesforme.org forward slash donor. Okay, and again, Google Eric Metaxas. You're going to just go, oh my goodness, he's coming to the area. That's so awesome. We're going to take a short break and be back after these words. You're listening to Our Community.